All right, guys, it is now time to sim race and have some fun. All right, so now we need sim hub. Start that. Need crew chief. And we need race lab. Several days later. Ah, and we need simi cube. All right, I think I'm, I think I can start racing now. All right, let's do this. Hi, pit crew. This is Amir again, and I'm going to show you a way instead of having to go through each and every individual sim racing app that's out there that you use from sim hub to simi cube to race labs, crew chief. And instead you create a batch file that you can use to open up all these programs with just a quick double click. So let's get into it. So what is a batch file? A batch file is essentially a script that allows you to automate anything from repetitive tasks to automation of your executables and so much more. And in sim racing, really we're just gonna be using it to start up all the programs that we use for our sim racing needs. And the beauty of it is what you can create multiple files of these. So like, for example, you only use specific programs for iRacing. Well, you can create a batch file for iRacing startup, or you could create one for ACC or for AMS2. The possibilities are endless, and that way you can sit there and just start up the programs that you need right away without having to sit there and double click and or go through all these different programs that you need to do to start your sim racing. So the first thing we gotta do before we start anything is we gotta open up a folder. We gotta go to options, view, and right here, this option right here, hide extensions for known file types. This one we wanna uncheck it because we wanna know what the extension of the file is and be shown for when you go back and rename the text file into a batch file. So we hit okay. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a text file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna do new, we're gonna do text document. All right, it's gonna create a new text file. I'm gonna name it iRacing. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna double click on it to open it up. So the first command line that you're gonna do is you're gonna do at echo off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a new line. We're gonna do start, space, no, two quotation marks, and space again. Now we're gonna find the path for the programs that we're gonna use so we can make sure that we can get them started off the right way. So I'm gonna go through, file explorer. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my simi cube. I have that saved in my sim racing download, simi cube. Right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna do copy as path. And that's gonna copy the path of where the file is actually at. Go back to our text file, do a paste or control V. All right, so we got that one. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sim hub software. And for me, that is located in my C drive, program files, sim hub. And I gotta scroll all the way down to the sim hub uh, WPF file. Uh, it is close right here. So we're gonna right click again, copy as path. Make sure we got the space right there. And then we're gonna do control V. So we got that going. We're gonna start, we're gonna add another program. So the next thing I'm gonna add is my crew chief. So we go back one, go into Britain IT, crew chief, same thing. We're gonna right click so we can get our copy as path, or we could do control shift C, um, space. All right. For right now, that's what I'm gonna do right now to get everything running. I'm just gonna add our iRacing program. We're gonna go back. I have it in my Steam folder. Steam apps, 
common, iRacing, and then we're gonna go to UI, and then iRacing UI. Same thing, we're gonna right click, copy as path, and over here we're gonna paste. All right, so for right now, that's the only programs I'm gonna show, add to this text file right here. Um, you can add more programs onto there, so if you use like Discord, or any kind of like team speak channel where you want you're talking to your teammates, telemetry, any of that stuff, you can add all of those programs here and you, you can make the list as big or as small as you want. There's really no limits to it. But for me, I'm, just, I'm gonna show you guys how to get started and from there you can go on your own. So after I've done this, after we've added all of our programs and our to it, so we're gonna do a save. All right, we're gonna close it out. And right here, so we're right now we're gonna right click on our iRacing.txt file. We're gonna rename it from iRacing.txt to iRacing.bat. So rename. All right, we're gonna go to the end. And what this does is it converts our file from a text file into a script file. All right, make sure we do that. Hit enter. Are you sure you wanna change? Yep. I want to change it. All right, so now you've noticed the icon for it changed, right? So it's gone from, you know, the, the lines to showing let's it's a kind of like a piece of paper to now like it's two gears where now it, it's actually been converted into a script file. So all we need to do now is really just double click on it to open up all the programs that we use. So you can see it's opened up a lot of our programs. So it's opened up SimHub. It's opened up Crew Chief. And where is my iRacing? There's my iRacing. So it's really, yeah, so it's opened up everything that I use. And from there, I can just go in and start my racing journey. So really, that's it guys for creating a batch file. It's not really hard, it's very simple. And I only showed you guys how to make, you know, for example, an iRacing one, but you can make one for ACC, for AMS2, for R Factor 2, for virtually anything that out there that you play. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, specifically for iRacing. You know, for example, if there are apps that you use for ACC that you don't use with iRacing, well, you can create a batch file for ACC. If you do stuff with gaming, like if you play, you know, FPSs and you want to open up like your team speak or your Ventrilo or anything else that you use to play, talk to your teams, you can create a batch file for that. If you do any type of productivity kind of things with Excel or any of that other stuff, same thing, a batch file will help you out and make things a little bit easier for you and cut a little bit of time on trying to open up all these different apps and programs. But really guys, that is it for my video. It's not a very long one, but it's just a little trick that I wanted to share with you. And hopefully it helps you out and give you some time back. But anyways, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So we know that you guys are enjoying our videos and also you're getting notified when we have new videos coming out. But anyways, I'm gonna get some sim racing in. I haven't done it in a little bit, but until next time guys, have fun racing and I'll catch you later. Bye.